skin and short fur on their bellies help them heat up faster in the morning sun. As Flower gave birth here only two days ago, the group will be staying at this burrow for at least another three weeks until her newborn litter are big enough to move. With the group checked into their digs for the foreseeable future, and with no fewer than 40 guests to accommodate, it's crucial to keep the place in tip-top condition. By forming a line and working together, the chain gang can shift a lot more sand. With the burrow work done and everyone worn through, it's soon time for the group to set off in search of breakfast. But not everyone will be eating out today. Staying behind to look after Flower's latest pups are Sophie and Spud. towards the dry riverbed, where yesterday they had a successful day foraging. Although the pups from Flower's first litter have been finding some food for themselves, it's easier to hassle the grown-ups for breakfast. Pup persistence has always worked in the past, but today it seems the adults aren't going to give in so easily that nearly three months old it's time these pups learn to fend for themselves. Achilles wants up, Attila wants out. 